For all the celebration of Jack Kirby's contributions to the medium of comics as both a writer and artist, which if you don't know by now includes co-creating most of the building blocks of the Marvel Universe, what is less heralded, or at least less understood, is his contribution to comic art as a visual language. So let's take a quick look at one of his more lasting contributions, Kirby Crackle. Simply put, Kirby Crackle is a graphic shorthand for power, be that power heat, or radiant cosmic energy, or a mad rush of the ocean's tide. Because most of us draw on white or light paper with a darker tool, crackle is often seen as black dots on a white field, which results in a lot of floating, nebulous, static orbs that can contradict the intention and usefulness of Kirby Crackle. Perhaps the more simply understood and practical application is to think of crackle as light moving or bursting through the darkness, breaking apart into high contrast cracks in the firmament of the page. This classical application of crackle yields its best results when the artist thinks graphically and in terms of 2D design first. But in the modern era, other mediums have given us a possible Rosetta Stone for other approaches. Literal dots flickering and fluttering through the air like burning ambers, or say, dark matter, can work. But take caution to remember that film and animation are mediums of motion. In the end, the only true rule is to do what Kirby would likely do. Obliterate all the rules with a bolt of cosmic lightning.